Okay, so the question we're going to answer in this video is what is a logarithm? And you can see at the top of the page um, I have written the answer to that question. Um, so I think that uh, whenever we try to understand what a logarithm is, reading or saying this sentence that's written really is key to understanding the concept of a logarithm. So uh, it says the logarithm with base b of x is the exponent to which b is raised to get x. And um, you can see I've written an example on the page here. Now a couple of things before we try to work through this example. The logarithm with base b of x would be written this way. So we abbreviate logarithm with log. There's a base b that's written as a subscript of x. Logarithm with base b of x. So this would be the symbolism for this piece of the sentence. Okay, so if we go to the example that I've written here, uh, we want to figure out what the logarithm with base 2 of 8 is equal to. And so we can see that the base is 2 and the x is 8, right? So the base is 2 and the x is 8. So what if I went back to my sentence that explains what a logarithm is and instead of the letter b I used the number 2 and instead of the letter x I used the number 8. Let's see, I'm going to go back and mark over in red. Right. So for this example we say the logarithm with base 2 of 8 is the exponent to which b, which remember is 2, is raised to get x, which remember is 8. So let's say it again with the letters replaced by the numbers. The logarithm with base 2 of 8 is the exponent to which 2 is raised to get 8. So the question that we're trying to answer in order to figure out what number this is equivalent to is we want to figure out what exponent do we put on this number. Right? In other words, what exponent do we put on that number that gives us 8. And hopefully we can see that the answer to that question is 3. So in other words, what exponent would you put on your base to get this number? And that's all there is to logarithms. So we can work through a couple more of these, but the idea is always the same. To evaluate the log with base 3 of 27, we're asking what exponent do we put on that base to get that number. And so right, we think, well, what exponent on 3 gives us 27? And that's going to be the same as in the last one, which would be 3. OK, so how about this one? logarithm with base one half of eight. Right? What exponent do I put on one half? Right? What exponent do I put on one half to get this number? Okay, so we might have to think through our rules of exponents. Right? How can I take 
how can I possibly take one half <coughs> and raise it to an exponent it would give me eight well you might look at this and think well wait a minute I know that I know that two raised to the third is eight that was the first example that we looked at right but it's not going to work right I can't say one half raised to the third because one half raised to the third is one over eight okay so that doesn't work but what happens when we have negative exponents remember what a negative exponent does is it flips your base upside down in other words if I take the reciprocal of the base then this exponent becomes positive and that gives me 8 so because of that 1 half the exponent on 1 half that gives me 8 is negative 3 maybe a couple more of these Right, my base is 2 the question is what exponent on 2 would give me 1 and whenever you're asking that question right what exponent gives you 1 there's an answer that will always work because 2 to the 0 2 to the 0 equals 1 right, so the answer there is 0 and maybe something like this uh, what if we had what is the log with base 2x of 2x right so we'd be asking what exponent would we put on 2x that would equal 2x and of course the exponent there is 1 right so whenever the base matches what's in the logarithm the exponent has to be 1 and so these are two things you see quite often with logarithms and of course there's more things that we can do um, with logarithms and with logarithmic equations but this hopefully answers the basic question of what is a logarithm I mean in one word if we go back and kind of diagram this sentence a logarithm a logarithm simply is an exponent right now it's it's a little more specific than just that but in simplest terms a logarithm really is just an exponent all of the answers that we wrote in each of the examples were exponents <laughs>